Hey, hey, my Healthy Wisdomers community, I will be launching on Patreon this month, and I would love to invite you all to support me with a small monthly subscription at Patreon slash Dr. Jen Chen, so I can continue to bring you value and continue to create content that will contribute to your growth, and maybe even challenge you to get out of your comfort zone. Your support will help us empower each other on this amazing journey we have together. So join me with the link below. Hi, welcome back to another episode on the Healthy Wisdom Series with Dr. Jen Chen. All right, Healthy Wisdomers, are you guys ready? Today we're going to explore the 10th guiding principle of good governance and how it applies to our daily lives. And this principle is called the principle of fairness. And the definition reads, the board balances the competing community, commercial, financial, fiduciary interests of the principles with the expectations of the organization's other key stakeholders. So as you can see, one of the big words that are highlighted here is competing interests and expectations of the organization. Now, a lot of times, the balancing of these competing interests between different parties, situation, perhaps even stages in life can be quite challenging. It is a little tricky to maneuver because life was never set up to be fair. Everything in life is a balancing act, right? And because life is in a constant entropy, we do need to learn to navigate with agility and flexibility in order to really weather all the different challenges that life throws at us, right? And in this balancing act, we're talking about whether it's work life, family life, getting um, married, buying a house, having children, staying single, traveling and living out our dreams, you know, or starting a business, um, you know, such as, you know, uh, when you are in a business that you are the sole entrepreneur, you only make money when you are working. Whereas, you know, if you go and you get a stable job, you clock out um, at 5 p.m. every day and you really don't really have to think about the business um, after you're done with the job. So the question is, what are the things or the people or the types of decisions that you're juggling to find balance in? So let's take a little pause and a few minutes to write those down. Let's break out our journals right now, pause the podcast, take a few minutes and think about what are the things that you are juggling in your life as a balancing act. All right. And then we'll come back and then we will then revisit that. So take a little pause, write those things down, and then we'll continue our discussion. Okay, guys, so after you've taken a few minutes to actually think about, you know, the things that you have to balance in terms of all the different competing interests and all the different parties and all the different people uh, that you have to juggle around in your life, we need to then acknowledge the fact that you're never going to make a decision that 100% of people will agree with, right? That's a really hard concept for us or most of us to grasp that you're never going to please everybody 100%. So what should we do is we have to make sure that we don't let the people who don't matter too much matter too much. It's as simple as that, you guys. We've got to let go of that need to please everyone in our lives because ultimately we can't, right? And soon as we bring this statement into our awareness, and we acknowledge the fact that we cannot please everybody with any of the decisions that we do decide to make, then let go of that need to please. And I can guarantee you that you are going to find a sense of relief from the expectations of those around you and also from those expectations of yourself that you put on yourself. So starting today, 
let's acknowledge that we have done our best given the current situation and the circumstances that we are in. And we have done our best based on what we know now in this moment in time at this stage in our lives. So let's take a short little few seconds to give ourselves a little pat in the back and acknowledge ourselves for that. Because today is going to be the first day that you are going to sit here and you're going to announce to yourself that you're going to let go of that need to please. All right. So number two is basically acknowledging that there is never going to be an, a decision or an answer that's going to 100% be in agreement with everybody around you in your lives. All right. This is a big realization, you guys. Like It took me so many years to finally realize that and let go of that need to please because I'm a people pleaser. And it kind of sucks to be in that situation sometimes when you are kind of on the on in, in in the middle of things. And now I come from a different perspective and I feel a different sense of responsibility. But, you know, the relief that I don't have to meet those expectations that aren't that are unrealistic and and those extra expectations that I put on myself, you know, those extra pressures are now gone. And so I'm operating from a very different level of frame of mind. And it is such a nice way to be able to give yourself that, that, that little bit of courtesy and, and kindness, you know. And the third thing that I wanted to touch upon today is a concept that I think was made very, very popular by a lot of different mentors and a lot of different gurus before our times, you know, ranging from Zig Ziglar to Jim Rohn to Tony, Tony Robbins of present day to like th the list goes on and everybody always, always comes back to the best way to help ourselves is to help others, right? So to help people get what they want will also help you get what you want. This is one of those concepts that, you know, I think is timeless. And it is also, it ties into, you know, the principle that we talked about last week about service, right? If we come from a place of service to others in order to help them achieve and, and serve others as well, then in the end, we're serving ourselves as well because we're helping others reach what they need to reach, um, acknowledge what's important to them, you know, and as a result, we're also going to be able to feel great, first of all, for, you know, being able to help others and also help ourselves pull out of certain situations that, you know, might be more challenging and very testing and trying at times. And I think it's 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 a it's a great way for us to be able to almost shift that frame of mind from me, me, me to, oh, how can I make it a we situation or a you situation or others and putting them first rather than focusing on all the challenging things that are happening to us. So I really like that frame of mind. And to think that the best way to help ourselves is to help others. So today we explored the whole aspect about balancing challenges and supports, um, as well as the different aspects of our lives. It's all a balancing act. And if we achieve to at least make an attempt to, you know, bring some semblance of balance to all those competing interests and challenges and supports, then I really think we can actually live a life that is actually more harmonious. 
And I certainly hope that for you guys. All right, Healthy Wismers, it has been a pleasure to share this quick and short episode with you guys. Um, And I thank you all for listening. Please take a minute to subscribe, follow, and rate this episode so that we can share this wisdom with everyone around us. And let's invite them to join us on this journey. This is the Healthy Wisdom Series with Dr. Jen Chen. I'll catch you guys next week.